Communications Assistant Secretary Moka Uson will return the award given to her by the University of Santo Tomas Alumni Association. The USD Alumni Group on Sunday gave Uson the Tomasian Alumni Award for Government Service. Quoting Resigned Association President Henry Tenedero, USD Student Publication the Varsitarian says Uson is returning the award to the Alumni Association Wednesday. The move prompted immediate uproar from groups within and outside the USD community. Uzan is accused of spreading fake news and disinformation. She says reactions from some USD alumni were over the top. Uzan says there are more pressing issues that should be discussed, citing the Denga vaccination program controversy and the ongoing Mayan volcano emergency. Tenadero earlier defended the decision to give Uzan the award, saying that morality, uprightness were not factored in. The Land Transportation Office can now release around 700,000 license plates to motorists after the Supreme Court lifted the temporary restraining order it issued in 2016. High Court spokesperson Ted Te on Tuesday says the NCON Bank denied the petitions to declare as illegal the donation of the 700,000 license plates to the LTO. The Bureau of Customs confiscated 300,000 license plates for motor vehicles and 400,000 plates for motorcycles in 2016 after the manufacturer failed to pay taxes. Instead of disposing of these, the BOC donated the plates to the LTO to address the latter's backlog in issuing plates to motorists. In lifting the TRO, the SEON Bank unanimously ruled the budget for the standardization program in the 2014 General Appropriations Act was constitutional. The modernized license plates include new safety features such as tamper-resistant locks and bolts and reflectorized sheeting. China's permit to conduct maritime research in the eastern seaboard of the Philippines begins Thursday. The Foreign Affairs Department granted the permit to the Institute of Oceanology of Chinese Academy of Sciences, which will conduct the study in tandem with Filipino scientists from the University of the Philippines Marine Science Institute. The permit expressly bans hydrographic survey or mapping activities within Philippine maritime jurisdictions, drilling in the Philippine continental shelf, and fishing. It allows China to gather data on the ocean circulation in the Western Pacific Ocean. The permit covers the eastern side of Luzon and Mindanao. It also says the Filipino scientists should be given unrestricted access to all areas in the vessel and to equipment. Foreign Affairs Secretary Alan Cayetano says it includes Benham Rice. The permit is good for a total of 33 days or until February 25. Supreme Court Senior Associate Justice Antonio Carpio, who led the country's international case against China over the maritime dispute in the West Philippine Sea, earlier called it dumb to allow Beijing to explore the waters on the other side of the country. 